In this video, I'm going to teach you chopstick switch. It looks like this. This is a basic chopstick combo, which will teach you how to do your basic chopstick mount and the chopstick undermount and some different movements that are very useful for getting in and out of chopsticks that will be helpful when you're learning all sorts of chopstick tricks. Now, to get into the basic chopstick mount, you're going to start by throwing a trapeze. And then what you're going to do is take your opposite thumb and put it over both of these strings like this and make this kind of C-shape with your hand. And you're going to take your throw hand and pop the yo-yo up over the thumb and land it in between just like this. Now, when you learn the trick, there's going to be a few tips that are going to make learning it a lot easier. Uh, the first thing is you want to make sure that the string is as close to the tips of your fingers as you can. You also want to make sure that you spread your fingers out as wide as you can and really maintain uh, that kind of C shape. If you bring your fingers too close together, that won't work. You're also going to find that if you have uh, smaller hands uh, as a younger kid, or if you're using an oversized yo-yo, that the trick can be more difficult to learn. It doesn't mean that you can't, it just means that it will be more difficult. So it's really important to make sure you're, you've got the string at the tips of the fingers and you've got that C-shape uh, held really firmly. The other tip is that you want the yo-yo close to your thumb. You can see how close mine is to my thumb. If I've got the yo-yo way out here and I try to land it, it's a lot more difficult. So keep that yo-yo close to the thumb. That'll make popping over really easy. Now the other thing to note about the basic chopstick mount here is when you get into it, you'll notice you can land it either on the string like this, or sometimes you might land it with the string out behind back. And actually either way is fine, and you can see that you can transition into either position. Um, both of those are the chopstick mount, and you'll find that different tricks begin from different positions, either on the string or with the string behind the yo-yo, so it's a good idea to get used to both. Now the next part of this trick, what we're going to do is we've got the yo-yo either here or the string can be behind. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your opposite hand, keeping that C shape, and we're going to tilt our thumb back and push down into the string. And you'll see that will pop the yo-yo back out through the fingers, right back into a trapeze. And that'll set us up for the next part of the trick. So the next part of the trick is doing the chopstick undermount. So from here, we're going to stick out our opposite middle finger, un uh, unmount the yo-yo over that. And then we're going to stick our thumb out still in that same C shape, but this time instead of over, we're coming under the string and placing against this string that's hanging attached to the yo-yo. And from there, we're going to pop the yo-yo up, land right over the thumb, and do a chopstick mount underneath the string. So when you're doing that, all the same tips apply. Again, you want the string near the tip of your finger, and you want to keep that C shape and keep the yo-yo close to your thumb. That will help a lot. To get out, what you're going to do is you're going to do that same tilting motion, and at the same time, if you pull on the string with your throw hand, you'll see that that will pop the yo-yo right out. And if your index finger is still in place, you can leave it there, and then let the yo-yo kind of roll around that and land right back into a trapeze. And then of course, you can dismount and bring the yo-yo back to your hand however you want. So again, you want to practice both of these. They're very basic mounts um, that will lead into all sorts of different chopstick tricks anytime you're doing tricks between your fingers like that. But there's all these basic concepts within the trick chopstick switch, but once you get it down, that's how you do chopstick switch.